Really, a matter of pride for me uh, to welcome our Deputy Commissioner, Dr. Diaz Datatri, a very uh, young man and naturally very energetic. Thank you. If you live with mice, the cat claws will find you. The only real rest comes when you are alone with God. Dear audience, let's start this beautiful event by remembering our Lord who created us out of nothing and taught us the use of pen. I would like to call Shazmin Dar to recite a few lines of the Holy Quran and beautify this morning. <laughs> We at Digi College Women Kopara, this is our humble setup and humble endeavor in this direction, and we are here to deliberate at least the theoretical part of it because we are not decision makers. But let us join hands and try to aware and try to convey our message to those who are at the helm so that <coughs> half of the world's population which our uh, anchor has rightly said who are marginalized and let us pledge today to involve this half of the world's population <coughs> not only in decision making but also in the economic landscape in the social strata let us give them recognition due recognition what we call as an inclusive society everyone should be included while framing the policy of a nation I was here a couple of days before in a similar function. Which was organized by the college in collaboration with Anhad. It was what we call as sexual harassment against women. You see there are the issue is so important that this is the only issue where United Nations has kept two days. One is the 8th March when we are celebrating International Women's Day and second we would be celebrating on 25th of November which is the day for elimination of this uh, violence against women. So now you can see this is the only issue where UN has this is the gender very very I am very thankful to the guests who are, who are here to Shifi Saab, to our resource person Dr. Shahidya, to uh, Khalida from Bilgam who is a budding entrepreneur and to our resource person from Degree College Sumbal. Uh, other guests who are here from uh, Social Welfare Department, 
but I am really uh, shocked to see a very thin attendance of our students in the gathering. I was expecting that. I, I don't want to repeat that. Even in centric world, there was a bias. I have already told you about the plight that Rosalind Franklin she came across. You see, global warming is a, uh, it, it, it is a bigger issue when we talk about global warming or greenhouse effect. We only remember Tyndall. Tyndall is a scientist, but the theoretical part of it has been, been proposed, it has been invented. Rather, the sketch has been given by Eunice Newton. She, presence of vapor in the atmosphere is actually aiding in increasing the temperature. Same has happened with uh, many other things like uh, uh, the invention of this uh, nuclear fission. Aapne atom bomb ke mutali pada hoga for inventing the atom bomb, nuclear fission. But it was the lady who gave her the idea that you bombard uranium item with neutrons and you get uh, a nuclear fission. But her name is, she has not been credited for the idea which uh, she gave to Otto. So this, this was our discrimination. Now let us come to the latest scenario. World Economic Forum, it has its headquarters in Geneva. As per their report 2022, this is the latest report that World Economic Forum has published. They have published Global Gender Gap Report. Global Gender Gap Report. There is a gap between two genders, male and female. In their report, they say that only five countries in the world Iceland, Finland, Norway, New Zealand, and Sweden. They have reduced gender gap to 85%. All other countries, they have a wide gap between two genders. And what are the parameters? Economic participation and opportunity, educational attainment, health and survival, and political empowerment. In these four parameters, global gender gap index is here. And only Scandinavian countries are top in the list. All other they are at the tail end. This is, this is a list of 146 countries. And our country, India, National Day of Women, it is your day. Now, as per the Global Gender Gap Index, a report that was published by World Economic Forum in 2022, only Iceland, Norway, Finland, and some other countries like New Zealand and Sweden, they are doing well. They have bridged the gender gap to an extent of 85%. And all other countries, they are lagging behind. Even our own country, India, is figuring at serial number 135 and worst condition is that of Afghanistan which is at the tail end serial number 146 the list is of 146 countries and we are at 135 so our position as far as bridging the gender gap is not very really encouraging and the four parameters that were selected by World Economic Forum to give the gender gap index as I told you earlier, it is economic participation and opportunities, it is educational attainment, it is health sector, health and survival, and it is political empowerment. And World Economic Report says that we will bridge the gap 100% if the current pace, if it continues, we will bridge the gap in 135 years. So we will require 135 years to have 100% gender equality. That 
what in uh, different fields we see that there is gender inequality even in education sector versus political uh, empowerment where we have only in political empowerment there is only 8% progress as far as gender equality is concerned if we see educational sector you see girls please uh, note it in normal education sector you are doing well but in stem courses science technology uh, this mathematics and engineering there you have a share of only 1.6% so the discrimination is there either you are not being provided full opportunity or you are not interested to pursue stem courses Heartly gratitude to our chief guest and guests of honor. I request Professor Dr. Fayaz Ahmed Loon to present the moment to Dr. Dr. Sagar, Dr. Dai Fodi Sagar, the Tatri Sir, as a token of love. <laughs> has joined us, and it would be quite unfortunate if we miss the golden chance of hearing his great thoughts on the theme. So I'd like to invite Dr. Doy Fodi Sagar, the Tatri Sir, Deputy Commissioner Kupwara on stage. Women's Degree College Kupwara, the professors, assistant professors, faculty members, administrative staff, non-teaching staff of the college, uh, and my dear uh, sisters and uh, the students of the college. First of all, I welcome you all and congratulate the better part of the society for the International Women's Day today. And uh, I also congratulate the organizers to organize this particular event. The, there is a purpose of having all these days celebrated amongst us. So it's just a day, it comes every year and uh, we celebrate it. But why are these days celebrated in the first place? They are celebrated because at least this is the time when we introspect upon, when we think upon these aspects of the society. Okay. We celebrate Children's Day, we celebrate, uh, for example, Mother's Day, we celebrate Women's Day. These things are actually celebrated because we introspect upon these aspects of the society. And whenever we introspect upon, we try to find out how we can improve upon those things. How we can improve upon those aspects of our society. Those things where we might be lacking. And not only that, we also appreciate what good things have been happening on that particular front. So first of all, again I congratulate you and I thank you for inviting me for this function because that gives me an opportunity to talk to all of you, throw some light on today's topic and then collectively we reach to some conclusion. Because History, in the history of human civilization, I think this attitude to socialize, this attitude to discuss, to think upon, to think upon issues, things, and then work for the betterment of the society, that is, that is the, I think, the best part of the society. Any society which does not allow rationality, any society that does not allow a section of the society to talk, any society that does not allow freedom of expression, I think is a society which is moving towards collapse or disintegration. And that is why whenever we function, we always pay our huge, huge, huge respects to Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar, the architect of the Indian constitution, because these freedoms of expression, thought, belief, faith, Worship, all these expressions have been given to us 
because we work on the principles of the constitution of india and i think that is the strongest point and that guards our freedoms to express and i think that is the most wonderful thing of our society that our society never stops anybody to talk whatever you want to talk whatever you want to express whatever you want to say allow it okay until unless it disturbs the society altogether so i welcome you for today's function today's topic is a very good topic and i am happy that i am sharing my thoughts with all of you with respect to change the face of the society provided we want to do that provided we express ourselves provided we call spade a spade and say the right things feel i receive hundreds of people in my office every day but i have seen it is very challenging to answer or reply or maybe tackle to a women folk who has come in front bada aasan hota hai jab koi mard aata hai mere samne to hum kuch bhi bolte chaliye khatam hai wo jo bachiyan mere paas aati hai mere office mein unke argument ko deal karna बहुत मुश्किल बात होती है मैं उसको पॉजिटिव एंगल से देखता हूं कि मैं ये देखता हूं कि इस छोटी उम्र में भी उनका इंटेलेक्चुअल और रैशनल कैपेसिटी इतना अच्छा है कि हमें मुझे लगता है कि इस चीज को स्ट्रेंथ में कन्वर्ट करने की आवश्यकता है और आज बहुत अच्छी बात है कि मैं आप सब लोगों से इसके बारे में मौका दे वो छोटी सी घर में कुछ चोरी कर लेता है it steals something small and he gets away with it ki maa usko kuch nahi bolti theek hai eventually ghar mein laad pyar karti hai maa chhod do bachcha hai kuch nahi bachcha hai bachcha hai uske baad wo ghar mein chori karta hai fir padosi kya karta hai fir bahar karta hai fir uske bahar karta hai fir badi karta hai fir bank mein ek baar daka dal deta hai ab jab bank mein daka dal deta hai choti moti to chori to chal jati hai बट बैंक में जो डेटा बैंक में डाटा डाल दिया तो वो तो नहीं चलेगा उसको पुलिस पकड़ ले उसको जेल हो जाए कोर्ट में पेशी होती कोर्ट में पेशी होने के बाद में कोर्ट उसको कहता है कि तुम्हें सात साल की सजा तुम अब सात साल के लिए जेल वो बाहर निकलता है बोलता है कि मुझे मेरी मम्मी से कुछ बात करें वो माँ के पास नजदीक चला जाता है और धीरे से बोलता है कि मैं आपको कान में कुछ बोलूंगा और उसका कान जो है वो काट लेता है he bites to her ears and then he says ki mamma if you would have scolded me at the first instance when i stole those 10 rupees from your pocket or your purse then i would not have landed up in such a situation and that is true that is perfect we are and all the men see leave behind whatever is there main usme nahi jaunga ki kya karte hai kya nahi karte wo mujhe lagta hai ki ऐसा हम उस इंसान को मतलब अच्छा इंसान या मर्द ही नहीं कहेंगे जो अप्रिशिएट नहीं करता है इस बात को कि आज जो भी हम लोग खड़े हैं वो हमारे घर में जो हमारी मदर है उसकी वजह से खड़े हैं जॉब करेंगे नो ऐसा मत सोचिए अगर आपने कोई हुनर है उसको आगे लाइए उसको खुद अपने अपने काम को पहले खुद आप रेस्पेक्ट दो तब लोग देंगे जब आपके अंदर पहले कुछ करने की सलाहियत होगी तब ही है शी इज इंस्पायरिंग हर सेल्फ बाकी सभी और रही रहा सवाल सपोर्ट एंड ऑल दैट का तो सपोर्ट पेरेंट्स का होना भी बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है quality education there is a huge debate in india but for example there has been lot of things lot of investment has been done on education for example you could you could see there are schemes at school level like sarv shiksha abhiyan rashtriya madhyamik shiksha abhiyan that means the the mandate of these schemes was to enroll all students in the age group of 14 6 to 14 in the school
gender difference it's natural which makes the difference between the two these natural factors like science students must be knowing that there been kind of chromosomes in case of female it's x x and in case of and moreover when we think in terms of the physical strength okay you you will find difference there as well because men are supposed to be more strong masculine and female <coughs> soft fragile so that way difference has to be there now when we talk about gender equality that means both men and women they should have equal rights both should live dignified life both should contribute and should get should get benefit from the economic social cultural or even the political development of a nation i think it angle wali baat hai ye angra janna bahut zaruri hai we should know why the world is going what is the space of women involved when we talk about as per the report from the uh, global gender gap to cause other with small country it's at the rank 1 number 1 pe hai jahan pe gender jo disparity hai wo bahut hi kam now you can imagine where we are yeah but because the report of 2012 so what i mean to say actually is ki हम जिस कंट्री में रह रहे हैं वहां पे ये जंग प्रॉब्लम पाकिस्तान की भी यही हालत है सो फर एज इंडिया इज कंसर्न सेवनटीन पोजिशन इन पोलिटिकल इंपॉर्मेंट वन जीरो वन टू वन इन एजुकेशन अटेनमेंट वन टू थ्री इन इकोनॉमिक पार्टिसिपेशन एंड वन थ्री फोर इन हाउ एंड सो फाइव कहीं पे भी टॉप टेन में नहीं is a great concern global gender gap as sir has already mentioned ye uh, south asian countries ka hai out of 156 countries bangladesh ne kafi kuch isme work out kiya hai bahut mehnat ki hai 71.9% jo hai gender equality pai gaya hai bangladesh followed by nepal jo ki nepal sabse poor country mani jati hai compared to india lekin phir bhi kamal ki baat hai उसके बाद पाकिस्तान की हालत देख लीजिए 55.6 एट द रैंक 153 अफगानिस्तान 44.4 ठीक है तो ये जो है कि आपके सामने हमने कुछ फिगर्स रख दिए फैक्ट्स एंड फिगर्स एट द ग्लोबल लेवल तो क्वेश्चन जेंडर इक्वालिटी फिफ्थ सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट ये जो sustainable development goals they were set for 2030 jo agenda 2030 is the sustainable and this gender equality is goal five like don't you think so i mean when there was the when when almighty allah created other place now so you fell then other cannot do anything alone he should have some companion some company soon after he created eve agar duniya ek hi gender pe chalni hoti to alislam hi wo create kiya fir eve ki zarurat hai zakha ki zarurat hi nahi thi in order to be this no one अगर लैब में सात आठ घंटे इनोवेशन पे बैठेगी रिसर्च कर 
Ricky, then she has to go back and she has to uh, stand back there and she has to do all the household workers which both जो काम उसके लिए वेट कर रहे होंगे कभी घर आएगी कभी फिनिश करेगी ये काम तो फिजिकल मैंने आपको पहले ही बताया देर इज अ जेंडर डिफरेंस इन टर्म्स ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल फैक्टर इन टर्म्स ऑफ फिजिकल स्ट्रेंथ एज वेल अंटिल एंड अनलेस द सोसाइटी विल नॉट चेंज एंड अंटिल अनलेस इट इज जेंडर है इट्स अ सोशल कंस्ट्रक्ट ये कि डू डू दिस ठीक है हर जगह हवा को साथ में रखा गया ऐसा कुछ नहीं बनाया गया लास्ट में वो ऑलरेडी बन चुका तो शैतान ने अपना काम करना ही था हजरत हवा के पास बोला कि ये खा लो एंड फ्रॉम दैट प्लांट मार्च दिस इज इंटरनेशनल वुमेन्स डे इट इट ये हम सेलिब्रेट क्यों करते हैं टू ऑनर इट टू ऑनर वुमेन्स कंट्रीब्यूशन आई आई रिसेंटली सो अ वीडियो बाय अ सोशियोलॉजिस्ट लाइक या अ लॉट ऑफ व्हाट ही सेड वाज रियली राइट बट उन्होंने अपने वीडियो में क्या कहा कि सोसाइटी में कॉन्फ्लिक्ट जोन में पर्टिकुलरली विमेन डू नॉट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट कोई कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन नहीं होता है एंड कॉन्फ्लिक्ट जोन का मतलब ही वाज रेफरिंग टू कश्मीर एंड देन